Southern California's Emmy Award-winning game show, where schools match skills and wits, kid quiz, and here to introduce today's participating schools is your host, McClovio Perez. Thank you. Okay, yes, absolutely, we are here. For Kid Quiz, this is a semi-final game. Whoever wins today's game moves to the championship round, so, folks, this is going to be a big one. All right, we welcome back two veteran teams. They have won, survived many rounds before. We welcome back from 66th Street Magnet Elementary, South Central Los Angeles. We welcome back <laughs> Javette Youngblood team captain. Welcome back to that. Introduce us to our second, first round players. To my right is Alex Gomez, yeah. and to my left is Vera Luckett. Alex and Vera. And returning, representing Cerritos, California, Gonzalez Elementary, team captain Jason Lim. Jason, welcome back. Introduce us to your first rounders. To my right is Niru Jayaraman, and to my left is Dorian Love. Niru and Dorian. And they brought back their cheering squads, and this is all their family, so it's a very large family. All right. Before we start our game, I uh, want to ask Jack, our announcer, to tell us about the prizes that the winning school will win at the end of this season, and we're getting real close to the end of this season. Here's Jack. This year, our second-place school will receive Merriam-Webster's new International Unabridged Dictionary with a beautiful hardwood table. Panasonic's Easy Programming Barcode VCR. The forehead unit lets you set time, date, and channel with the use of a barcode scanner from Panasonic. The winning school will receive the superbly illustrated 22-volume New Book of Knowledge Encyclopedia. Accurate and up-to-date information from Growlier. The Macintosh Personal Computer from Apple Computer. Macintosh, a computer that provides the power to be your best. The winning school will also take home this 1990 Spring Championship Trophy. Absolutely. Want to remind our team players to put hands flat on a white palette and go for the buzzer. Our offstage judge for this series and season, and we're very happy to have her with us. She's been a tremendous help with Arlene Nakamura. If you are correct, she's going to give you a ding. If you are incorrect, she will give you one of those. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. We start with the 10-point audio questions. First question, in a book, where would you find the index? Javette was first. At the end. At the end in the back is correct for 10. From science, in our solar system, which star does the Earth revolve around? Jason. Sun. The sun is correct for time. In sports, what does an angler catch? Yvette. Fish. Fish is correct for time. Current affairs worldwide news. Muammar Gaddafi is the leader of which Middle Eastern country? No one had a clue on that. Currently, Libya country of Libya. Next one is musical. Let's listen in and then I'll ask you the question. This composition is a standard for what internationally popular dance? Tibet. Polka. The polka is correct. Next one is a math question. Put your math hat on. One car can take four students to a baseball game. But if there are 32 students, how many cars? Javet. Eight. Eight cars, Javet. Eight cars will be needed. All right, the next one is a three-parter. I need three answers. There are four continents in the Eastern Hemisphere. Australia is one. Name the other three. Jason. Asia, Europe, Africa. Is correct. Very good. Very good. A tough one. All right. Ten point question from the stories of Roman mythology. Cupid is the god of Nero. Love. Love. Next question for ten. American history here. 
Ben Franklin wrote the almanac under what title? Nero. Porridge's almanac. It's correct. <laughs> All right, 10-point question here. Which mark of punctuation ends an interrogative? Jason. Question mark. The question mark is correct. Wrong time of the year, but listen. In the song, 12 Days of Christmas, what was given on the fifth day? Nehru. Five golden rings. Five golden rings. And now, Nero, you have to sing it, all right? On the first day of... No. <laughs> Four ten points. Which is the largest living bird in the world? Jason. Ostrich. The ostrich is correct. Current affairs now. Vice President Dan Quayle was born in which U.S. state? Jason? Texas. Texas is incorrect. 66. Vice President Dan Quayle, Quayle <laughs> was born in what state? Javet. Indiana. Indiana. And he was a senator from Indiana. Nice guess there. Was that the, that was the audio round, right? All right, that's the uh, end of the audio round. Now we move to the valuable 20-point video questions. Reminding team players, hands flat in the white palette, I'm going to show you the video. Wait three seconds and ask the question. You can anticipate my question, but you can win or lose, depending on how the question was written. First video question is before you for 20. It is used to magnify objects. Javette. Microscope. The microscope for 20. Correct. Next for 20 from geography. Watch. Give me the name of the Central American country once known. Nero. Um, Venezuela. Incorrect. To 66. Give me the name of the Central American country was once known as British Honduras. Javette. Belize. Belize is correct. Belize, Belize. All right, two parts. I need two answers on this video question. Give me the name of the instrument and the group. Nero. Saxophone and... Oh. Time's up. Incorrect. Uh, 66. Give me the name of the instrument and the group to, of instruments to which it belongs. Vera. Saxophone and the horn. Uh, incorrect. Oh. Saxophone and the woodwind. The woodwind. All right. We move to the next 20-point video question. Watch carefully. The act of cleaning your teeth, Jason. Flossing. It's called flossing. <laughs> cleaning your teeth with a string or thread. Next video question. Two parts. Javette, two parts. Aquino in the Philippines. Aquino in the Philippines is correct. Very good. Pre Give me her name in the country where she is president. Cori Aquino. Four. 20 points. In drama, what is the opposite of comedy? Dorian. Drama? Incorrect. All right, Dorian. 66. In drama, what is the opposite of a comedy? Javette. Tragedy. A tragedy for 20. Next for 20 points. What unit of measure is used to find the weight of precious stones? Jason. Carrot. The carrot. <laughs> All right, 20 points. Here's the next one. Haven't read it, Nehru. Hummingbird? The hummingbird is correct for 20. Next, from the world of sports. Going to play the game. Haven't read the question, Javette. Lee Trevino. Lee Trevino from Texas. The pro golfer master from Texas, Lee Trevino, for 20 points, biology. Give me the name of this pea-sized gland that takes orders. Nehru. Cerebrum. And incorrect, 66. Name the, give me the name of this pea-sized gland that takes orders from the brain and other parts of the body. 66. It's the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland. Next one. Watch. Haven't read.
Everett, it's Javette. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the best. All right. For 20 points, next video question. Haven't read it, Javette. Football. Cannot accept. All right, the question for Gonzalez. A person in what profession would wear this hat? Jason. Football. Judge did not accept it. Football player. A football player. You know, the football game does not wear a helmet. So, all right. We got a great game going on. Uh, we're 130 at Gonzalez. And uh, 66 is at 170. Now, very valuable bonus question. Listen carefully. First clue is worth 50. Second clue worth 30. Third clue is worth 20. Only team captains may buzz in. Players, put your hands aside. Now, you can answer at any clue level that you like, but if you're incorrect, you're out of the round. The other team gets to finish the uh, bonus question. For 50 points, the first bonus question clue is, this U.S. state is located on the Atlantic Ocean and is one of the original 13 colonies. Can you give me the name of this state? Time's up. We now go to 30 clues. 30 points on the second clue. This U.S. state is bordered by Massachusetts, Connecticut, and the Atlantic. Can you name this state? Jason. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is correct for 30 points. All right, we've got a tight game going, but then, of course, this is a semifinal. What did you expect? We'll be back with the second half after this message. Pictures will be back. I was so hot. I was frying. My throat was like a desert, like Death Valley. I wish I had something cooler, cold, like North Pole. Whoa! What could be cooler? It's the ultimate cool. Now invading a 7-Eleven near you. Neon Flyers! You can get one free when you buy a Super Slurpee. Out of this world! And you can collect all 12. When you're growing up, it's tough enough when emotions are stirred. And honesty, it's so hard to see. When your vision is blurred Well, I can see it in your eyes And I can hear it in your cries Don't you know it's so hard to get started When you don't have anything If you're a kid with troubles, you've got a friend at Boys Town Whether you're a boy or a girl, Boys Town has a caring person just a phone call away will really listen to your problems and help you solve them. If you're being abused, using drugs or alcohol, running away, pregnant, or just need somebody to talk to, call Boys Town's hotline. It's 1-800-448-3000. There's no charge, and you can call anytime. Knowledge is power. Stay in school. Go to college. Get the power. Get an education. This message is from the California State University and the American Association of State Colleges and Universities. The Norton Simon Museum of Art in Pasadena invites you to experience a collection of rare masterpieces. Pictures <laughs> is back. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we're back in the middle of a very exciting semi-final game. Uh, we want to thank our first round players for a marvelous job, very tight game. How about a nice big hand for the first rounders as they take their seats? Take a seat. Okay, as I mentioned, this is the semi-final, so these teams have survived numerous rounds to get here. I want to show you the brackets of all the schools that participated in this season uh, of Kid Quiz, and as you can see right there, uh, in the previous bracket, Jefferson has moved to the championship, and as of this game, one of these two schools, Gonzalez or 66, will face Jefferson for the big one, for, as they say, all the marbles. All right. We go back to Javette from 66 to introduce us to her second round players. To my right is Jose Rodriguez, and to my left is Malika Leggett. Jose and Malika. Very good. 
And we go back to Jason from Gonzales to introduce us to his second round players. To my right is William On, and to my left is Adam Glover. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let's get the game going here. In the second half, here's the first question. In conjunction with Channel 2's year-long campaign to protect our planet, we begin round two with a special question, a multiple choice. In Southern California, the unhealthful ozone level is worse than anywhere in the U.S. by A, nine times, B, two times, or C, the same. Javette. A. A, nine times is correct for ten points. Very good. Move. We're moving again to the audio questions for 10 points. Hands flat in the white palette and go for the buzzer when you think you have it. From grammar, the words and, or, and, but belong to what part? Jason. Conjunction. They are conjunction. So this is one from ancient history. The jerk, the bristle stomp, and the twist are names of what? Adam. Dances. Dances. Those are, those, were dance, those were dances in the 60s, and it, they're ancient to them, but uh, we move along. <laughs> For 10 points, a peninsula is bordered by water on... Jason? Three sides. Three sides is correct for 10. <laughs> From math, put your math hats on. A school bus seats 40 students, but 10 are empty. What percent? Yvette. 30. Incorrect, Gonzalez. Ten are empty. What percent are empty? Jason. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent is correct. <laughs> Next one is a musical question. A musical question. Let's play it and listen in. I'll ask you the question. <laughs> Haven't read it, Javette. Wedding. A wedding for this type of music. The wedding march would be at this type of ceremony. The next one is two parts. I'll require two answers. The question is, in our solar system, which two planets are closer to the sun than the Earth? Jason. Mercury and Venus. Mercury and Venus is the right All right. Multiple choice, multiple choice. I'm going to give you three choices. If you were to write a story about your own life, Javette. Biography. Incorrect. Gonzalez. The options I'm giving you are a biography, a bibliography, or an autobiography. William. Autobiography. Autobiography. <laughs> For 10, what is the acronym used to identify the government agency that runs the space program? Javette. NASA. NASA is the right for 10. Next for 10 points from science. What form of radiant energy is visible? William. Light. Light is the right for 10. All right. Listen carefully to this one from Government Affairs. How many members are appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court? Javette. Six. Six is incorrect. Gonzalez. Any idea? Supreme Court are appointed for life. Nine Supreme Court justices. But nice attempt there. Next one from the world of sports. The Tour de France is a race that held... <laughs> Javette. Bike. Our bike is accepted. Uh, it is a bicycle race. Uh, the judge accepted bikes, and that is for 10 points. That was the end of the audio round. Now we move to the very valuable 20-point video questions, and I'm going to fly through these. Gonzalez, 230, 66 at 110 for 20 points. Watch your monitors, and here's the question. I haven't read it, Adam. Monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly for 20. <laughs> All right, it is the best known of migrating butterflies, the monarch. All right, cheering squads, hold on a second. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get through many questions. The, the cheer, but make it short. <laughs> next, twid, next video is before you watch. From American history, who developed? William. George Washington Carver. 300 uses for the peanut. That's great. 
Next video question, 420. Watch your monitors. A wet trip down this slide would have you visiting what, San Dimas? Javette. Raging Waters. Raging Waters for 20. Next is three parts. Three parts. Which three factors are needed to find the volume? Adam. Base, width, and height. Is correct for 20. 20 point video question before you watch now. Okay, I haven't read the question, Adam. Goliath Rock. Cannot accept for 66. The question is, these giant frogs have recently come to the U.S. from what continent? 66. Javette. South America. Incorrect. They came from Africa. From Africa. We were looking for the continent. All right. For 20 points, next video question. Which is, fr which is not reduced? Jason. 3-6. Three 3-6 six. Three six is not reduced to its lowest term. All right, from the world of music, watch. Haven't read it. Javette. Little Richard. Little Richard. <laughs> Richard Penniman for 20. All right, next 20 point is two parts. It means to receive some unexpected good. Give me the word and use it in a sentence. Jason. Fortunate. I am fortunate to be on this show. <laughs> Very good. Yes, we are fortunate to have you here, Jason. <laughs> 20 points, watch. He was the first U.S. president to fly. Javette. Theodore Roosevelt. Correct. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt, or Teddy Roosevelt. No, he didn't fly. He was in an airplane, okay? For 20 points, round this number to the nearest 10,000. Javette. 170,000. Is correct for 20 points. Next 20 point video question, watch. El Capitan and Half Dome are located in this. Adam. Yosemite. Yosemite National Park. Next video question, watch. Haven't read the question, Javette. Israel. Israel for 20. The flag of Israel. For 20 points, current affairs, watch your monitors. This song is Love Shack. Adam. For 66, the song is Love Shack. Who sings it? Javette. The B-52. B-52 is correct for 20. From the world of geography, watch carefully. Give me the capital of Thailand. William. Taipei. Incorrect. On Taipei 66, the capital of Thailand. Bangkok is the capital of Thailand. The next one is Wu. Okay. The entire game comes down to the bonus question, we think. The first clue in the bonus question is worth 70 points. The second clue is worth 30 points. And the third clue is worth, I'm sorry, 70, 50, and the third clue is worth 30. Team captains may buzz in. Only team players put your hands to the side, shake it out, loosen up, take it easy. It's not that serious. It isn't going to the dentist. <laughs> But here it is. First clue for 70. This European country is the westernmost country on the European continent. Name the country. Time's up for 50 points. This country is famous for its 15th and 16th century explorers who sailed vast Jason. Spain. Spain is incorrect. Now 66. Do you want to hear the second clue or you go to the third clue? It's third your clue. you want the third clue. The capital is the largest city. The capital and largest city in this European country is Lisbon. Name the country. Time is up! Lisbon, Portugal. 
Lisbon, Portugal. We'll be back with the conclusion of our game after this message. Don't go too far away. We'll be back. Hey. Cool. Now invading a 7-Eleven near you. Neon flyers. You can get one free when you buy a Super Slurpee. Out of this world. And you can collect all 12. Tiffany Brissett at the California Museum of Science and Industry. How'd you like it? I was fascinated. I loved it. The baby chick, they were born right in front of my eyes. It was big and it looked like if you were an out of space. Would you recommend it to your friends? Yeah! There you have it. The California Museum of Science and Industry. There's always something new. Yeah! Quiz is back. All right. All right. There have been games, and there have been games, and this was a game. Uh, 66, you have... Uh,